What's up with it, you too? It's your boy Rebuke coming back at you, man. And I want to say shout out to all my new subscribers and my current subscribers. And to my brother that I met at the gas station, my brew. What's going on, man? You know, I appreciate us uh, chopping it up this morning, man. And, and I thank the most high for you and your wife and that message that your wife gave me. You know what I mean? Because I know that came from the most high, man. You know what I'm saying? And it definitely uplifted my spirits. And we know timing is everything, Ak. So I just wanted to say Barak thought to you and your family, man. And to let you know that I, that I appreciate that heavenly message that our Father in Heaven shared with your wife and y'all shared with me. It meant everything to me. And with that being said, welcome to another edition of Rebuke All Devils Radio 107.7 home of the truth and of course you know we got another devil on the show cindy crow and this is what cindy decided to do alabama woman arrested after newborn found dead in dumpster outside mini mart shout out to true crime for bringing us this story and look at this little devil here that decided to do what they had led she done let's get the details here we go Decatur, Alabama, a 36-year-old woman is in custody after police reportedly found a newborn baby dead inside a dumpster this week. According to a news release from the Decatur Police Department on Monday, October 16th, officers were called to perform a welfare check on Cindy Crow, who was believed to have given birth recently. Police said they gathered evidence to confirm she had been pregnant as early as February, but her newborn baby was unaccounted for. Investigators searched a dumpster outside Wally World Mini Mart on Point Miller Drive Southeast and reportedly found a trash bag with a dead baby girl inside. Police said the trash bag had been stuffed to the bottom of the dumpster under other large trash bags. Wow. The Alabama Department of Forensic Science will perform an autopsy on the newborn's body. On Wednesday, October 18th, police obtained a warrant for Crow's arrest and apprehended her on the charge of abuse of a corpse. She was booked into the Morgan County Jail and remains held on $200,000 bond. The investigation is ongoing and further charges are possible pending more evidence and autopsy results. And so what did she do to her own daughter? She stuffed Cindy Crow, stuffed her own daughter into a trash bag and threw away in a dumpster behind a mini mart. How heartless and careless do you have to be to do that to this, this life that just came out of your body and you threw your flesh and blood away like she was trash? And she was so much more than trash. She was your daughter. But thankfully, the good men and women of the law enforcement agency were able to apprehend you and take you into custody and show your daughter more love and respect than you ever could have. And all you had to do, instead of dropping your baby off in a dumpster, you could have dropped her off at the fire department. You could have dropped her off at the hospital. You could have dropped her off at the police station. And some loving people would have took care of your daughter. But you decide to kill her and drop her off in the dumpster. So on your daughter's behalf, we pray that she rest in peace. And we pray that your daughter get the justice that she deserved from a mother who didn't have enough love for her to let her live. You two, put your prayers up for that baby, man. And drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Stay safe. And remember, our whole job and duty is to protect the women and the kids. We have to protect the children. Shalom.